Students, this is an interesting question. Find the exact value of cot 5 pi over 12. Now, clearly you can see that this is a little bit daunting if the concerned the student is unable to actually fragment this. But if he or she is well aware of the technique of fragmenting, then this is a simple question. But most of the people would find it a little bit hop ill task to get it done. So it's imperative that you learn how to do this. If you are well aware of it, you can go ahead and solve this question by pausing the video. And then later on, check the solutions and the steps that are present in the video with yours. So having mentioned this, let me just start off by considering, consider the given question, cot of 5 pi divided by 12. I would like to rewrite 5 pi over 12 as pi over 6 positive pi over 4. Now, if I were to take the LCM, let me show you this. If I were to take the LCM as 24, this is going to be 4 pi. This is going to be 6 pi and I would get 10 pi divided by 24. I can clearly reduce it with 2 so that would give me 5 pi divided by 12. Right? So this is what we've got. Now I would like to apply this popular formula. Cot of A positive B is equal to cot A times cot B negative 1 divided by cot of A positive cot B. This is a popular formula which you should have it in your arsenal when it comes to solving questions because many times this expression or I should say this identity would come in handy. Now having mentioned this let me move on. So cot of A positive B I would take the value for A to be as pi over 6 and the value for b to be as pi over 4. So we got cot pi over 6 positive pi over 4, which is equal to cot pi over 6 times cot pi over 4 negative 1 divided by cot pi over 6 positive cot pi over 4. Now cot pi over 6 is nothing but cot 30 cot 30 is going to be root of 3 and uh, cot pi over 4 cot pi over 4 is nothing but cot 45 tan 45 is 1 cot 45 is also equal to 1 so having got that I'm going to substitute the values over here so this is going to be root of 3 times 1 negative 1 divided by root of 3 positive 1 so I've got a value which is root of 3 negative 1 divided by root of 3 positive 1. Now I would like to multiply by root of 3 negative 1 and divided by root of 3 negative 1. So this is going to be so root of 3 negative 1 raised to the power of 2. This would give me root 3 squared negative 1. Now if I were to expand this, this would give me 3 negative 2 times root 3 positive 1 right divided by root 3 squared is going to be 3 negative 1 so what do I have here I got a 3 positive 1 that's 4 negative 2 times root 3 divided by 2 if I were to take 2 out I would get 2 negative root 3 divided by 2 2 2 gets cancelled giving me 2 negative root 3 this is the value for cot pi uh, 5 pi this is the value for cot 5 pi over 12 right now this is without using calculators. Now you can go a step further in giving the numerical value. When I say numerical value, that is by getting rid of the root 3. Now you can call this as decimal form, right? The best way to say is decimal form. So what is root 3? Now let me write that down. Root of 3 as approximate value as 1.7321. So if I were to take that value, so 2.000, 1.7321, I subtract both the numbers. So this is going to be 10, I have a 9, 9, 7. This is again going to be 9, 6, 9, 2, and 0 point. So the value is approximately 0 0.2679. Well, you can just go on. It's non-terminating. It goes on, but I have just taken the value of root 3 as 1.7321. That's the reason I'm getting an approximation of 0 0.2679. So I have shown you two ways. One, without the quantities of decimal value being involved. 
two negative root three. This is a good value to have it in your corner of your mind. And if not, taking the value of root three as one point seven three two one, still you can achieve a decimal equivalent of or for cot five pi over twelve. Thank you, students. Enjoy your night.